today we're gonna to be talking about basically how I plan to retire at 23 years old. I'll never actually retire. By retirement, I mean I can technically not work and still be financially stable. I don't necessarily have a large sum of money that's waiting for me when I get to retirement. It's more I have assets that are gonna pay me each month that cover my expenses. So for example, my biggest thing is real estate. A lot of my money now goes into real estate and real estate is gonna be the main thing that kind of gets me into retirement. It can be different for everyone. Some people like stocks, some people like real estate, some people like gold or maybe antique. It's really just up to the person, but for me, I chose real estate. Real estate is pretty much a type of passive income. You do have to put in some work every single month just to kind of manage your properties. Where I live, you don't necessarily need a whole lot of money. This isn't like Los Angeles or New York. Uh, you could really get away with around $25,000 a year. And that's kind of my goal by the time I'm 23 is to have around $25,000 coming in every year through real estate. I'm typically a person that doesn't spend a whole lot of money every month, so it's not a huge deal for me to live off that. Plus, keep in mind that I don't pay for my housing. Due to me being into real estate, I choose to house hack, which means I basically live for free and make a little bit of money on top of it just for owning the house instead of renting it. As far as my plan goes, I plan on getting four rental properties. Now, one of my requirements for buying rental properties is to at least have $500 cash flow on each property. That means after all my expenses on the property and after everything I have to pay for for the property for the entire month, I still make $500 profit on the property. 21 right now, I plan on buying a house this year next year and then the year after that which i'll be 23 years old then 500 dollars each property 500 times four that's two thousand dollars a month two thousand times twelve that's gonna be about twenty four thousand dollars a year subtract taxes it's gonna be around twenty thousand dollars a year like i said that's gonna cover pretty much every basic need you could possibly have at least in my area again i don't live in an expensive area so it could be different for someone who's watching in say new york it's never been my goal to kind of retire and then do nothing i don't really see the point in that there's plenty of things I want to do in my life that don't stop when I'm 23 years old. Of course, I have a whole real estate strategy on how I plan to get these properties, pay for them, and pretty much make sure the cash flow. I have plenty of other videos on that. In fact, I think I made a two-part series that kind of described my strategy and my criteria for that. You can check that out up here. That's pretty much the gist of my strategy is to buy four rental properties that each cash flow $500, manage those every month, should give me a return about $20,000 every year after taxes. You can depreciate your property against your rental income, which in turn saves you on taxes. I know a lot of people think you have to have some large amount of money to actually retire, but really all it comes down to is how much you spend a month and how much you make a month. Really that easy to retire. If you can build up enough assets to cover your monthly expenses, I say that's considered retirement. This doesn't mean that you have to stop working. This means you can pretty much just focus on what you're passionate about, what you really want to work on. You'll probably find out that if you focus on that, you'll end up making more money than you probably did before. But I hope this video kind of opened your eyes to the possibilities of retiring early. Got some ideas going in your own head for how you may want to choose to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one.